difficult when you think about it because if you are Prince Harry you do look at things now particularly through a different lens it all sounds so good doesn't it when you are on the freedom flight you know in the Windsor suite at Heathrow Airport you think the world's your oyster and it truly was at that point you know there's no two ways about it the popularity of of course the Duke of Sussex and the former cable TV actress Meghan Markle was truly at an all-time high all the negative things were yet to come you know the Oprah Winfrey interview the press, the bulk, uh, you know, everything, the me you can't see, teaming it with Oprah Winfrey. Seemingly, she has a problem with the truth regarding her new felt figure also as an ambassador for Weight Watchers, but we'll park that there, right? What's interesting now, though, is according to a very well-placed source, that basically Prince Harry is it's something of a buffer in his personal life. As ever, let me explain. Nice to see you today in the very heart of a beautiful Yorkshire. It's always nice to report from here, you know what it's like. Yes, well, <laughs> where men are men, you know what I'm saying. You have to be with this weather. And uh, gosh, you know, I love it when I'm back south and they say, oh, it's cold, you think you want to get up north? This is mild. We're in t-shirt land here now at this point. You know what it's like, and I know, don't tell me, because I know these wonderful places around the world, like Canada, where you have so much snow, and you say, well, you know, we get on with this. What about Russia? Oh, who could live there? I mean, it must be just freezing permanently. And, of course, let's not forget the beautiful Isle of Shetland. Windy a lot of the time, dark a lot of the time, but, of course, wonderful, friendly people. That's all that matters, isn't it? Back as ever to your royal story of the day. Now, as I say, this has been an interesting development, really, because according to that uh, well-placed source, Prince Harry, you see, really did think at some point that he would have a reach out from his elder brother, um, His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales, Prince William. This was all because of the depleted services, some might say, of senior members of the British monarchy. And you can understand that then. When you look at the bigger picture, a lot more work has now been put on the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, uh, Royal Highness, the Princess Royal, Princess Anne, and, you know, others. And it's through no fault of anybody's. Nobody can fault getting ill. But you see, Harry truly felt that at some point he may be called upon. After all, he is vastly experienced, could, of course, deputise, still is in the line of succession, and there is, of course, his thought. His thought was, well, why aren't you calling me? Now, what was fascinating, talking to a person who works very closely with Prince Harry from time to time, is he's just simply left bewildered. He felt that his elder brother wouldn't necessarily reach out with open arms and, of course, the bells and whistles saying, do come back, we need you, but perhaps thinking of his father, His Majesty the King, King Charles III, well, maybe you could do something just to assist in that level. The realisation now for Harry that truly he is cut off, he's living in California, possibly batting around with some madcap idea as a lifestyle entrepreneur, or indeed being an executive producer on a project that some people might say never sees the lights of day. Where does he go from here? And more importantly, yes, it's difficult because he can't get hold of his elder brother. His elder brother really has no desire to have a chat for fear of that leaking into the public domain. And one could assume in this very delicate time for the Prince of Wales alongside the Princess that they can't afford any mishaps, mistakes or indeed opening of doors. For Prince Harry, his intention might be genuine, but seemingly all that's gone in the past means nothing appears genuine to now the senior roles over here in the United Kingdom. And that is truly what's made Harry incredibly dark and depressed right now. It is a developing story. When I know more, you'll know more. Neil Sean in the heart of Yorkshire.